Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Um, happy Tuesday, guys. I have an exciting Dollar Tree haul. Well, at least it's exciting to me. Maybe not to everybody else, it's not that exciting. But I found some really, really cute things at Dollar Tree. Um, a couple of the cutest things I think I've ever found at Dollar Tree. So cute. But anyway, let me go through the not so cute stuff here. Um, I got two more boxes of my Scotty's tissues because I don't know where they go, but we go through tissues in this house like crazy. But this is my favorite print. I always get this one. I don't know why. It just kind of matches anything. Um, and these get 128 tissues in here. And believe me, I can go through 128 tissues in no time, apparently. I did grab a box of these... Uh, sandwich bags, you get 58 in here, which isn't too bad. So um, I grab these until I get to the, um, my grocery store because we go through tons of these, like I always say, with all the uh, my parrots' foods and fruits and everything else that we separate and put into little bags of things. So I just grabbed one of them while I were there. While I was there, I grabbed a pack of these 300 count whoops cotton swabs. I really like these. Um, I wasn't too sure. I bought these started buying these, oh, I don't know how many years ago, and I wasn't quite sure how I was going to like them, but you know what? They're just as fine as any of the other ones, and you get 300 in here, so I got myself another box of those, and then I picked up two of the Olay Ultra Moisture with 10 times more moisture and shea butter um, soaps. Um, I just got two of those. I actually want to do something with these, so... We'll see how that goes. <laughs> and then I also picked up two of the, well, it's a two-pack of the Irish Spring. So, also want to do something with that. So, we'll see how that's going to work out. Not even going to say, because I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> but anyway, I picked up two bags of the Conversation Hearts. Not a big fan of these candies, but I do love, like, in that cute little heart candy bowl that they have this year at Dollar Tree and stuff. These just look really cute in a candy dish for Valentine's Day. So I picked up two packs of those just to put into a candy dish. And they're the, the Brock's brand. They're, you know, the regular good brand of goodies. All right, let me show you here first the things that I found when I walked in that I thought were so cute. What are they calling these? Of course, they're calling these decor. Look at these little things. They're made out of that MDF, but it has like a wood veneer um, on the base here and on the butterfly. And look at the detail in the. I'm trying to get this up close. Look at the detail in those. These are like the cutest things I found at Dollar Tree. I absolutely love these. And it's got the peach and pinks and greens. And how pretty will that be for to decorate for spring? And I'm so looking forward to decorating for spring. <laughs> But I got that one, and then I picked up this one. This is an owl with the same kind of pretty flowers in it. They, I just, they just really caught me off guard when I saw them because they're just so well done. Even the faces are nice. Um, these little guys, they're not real tall or anything. Let's see, the owl here is, he's about to the tip of his ear here. Well, let's see, from the bottom, about four and three quarter inches tall from the bottom to the tip of his ears. And the little butterfly here, let's get the widest part. That's about three and three quarters. And then it's about four and a quarter wide. So they're a nice little size just to decorate with. And here's the other one I got. Of course, I had to get this one. It's the bird. Aren't they cute? And they're just painted so nicely, the little flowers in there. He's got a little boo-boo. I don't know, I guess that's supposed to be like that on his eye. But uh, I just love these. And then the backs are just plain. But I don't know where I'm putting these, but I think these will go in with any of the spring decor. And I hope they're coming out with more stuff like this for spring. This gives me hope that they're going to have some really cool things for $1.25. Because you could not buy that anywhere else for $1.25. I'll tell you that. Okay. Then I did pick up two packs. These were in with the Valentine's things, and these are these foam roses. You get six of them in here. They're really, really pretty. Not sure what I'm doing with them yet, but I figure I'm going to grab a couple packs before they're gone. And this is like a creamy white, almost like a yellowish tint to it. Yeah, it is kind of yellowish. 
but more of a creamy white, I would say. So I got two packs of that color, and then I did pick up one of this, like, pretty pink. This has, like, an orange hue to it, but they're just really pretty, and they're really big. Let me yank one out of here. Honestly, I haven't seen them myself. I know people were finding these pretty foam flowers last year. I never found them. But yeah, oh, they're a really nice size. You can see my hand here. Aren't they pretty? And then they're just, you know, flat on the back, so you could just glue them. You could even put them on stems with some leaves and make a cute little... Ooh, I just had an idea. But we'll see. <laughs> I get so many ideas, and then I put this stuff away, and pff, half the time it's gone out of my mind. All right. What else did I get Valentine here? I picked up some of these smaller fabric bags. I think these are really nice. And they're, they're like a, a burlap kind of material. It has little pink hearts on them. I'm pretty sure, yeah, these have the nice little pink nylon drawstrings on them too. And you get three in here. They're uh, four inches by six inches. I like the size. The other ones I had are much larger than this. But I like the print on those and everything. So I got a pack of those. And then, let's see, that... I don't, was this in, this was in with the Valentine decor. This is, says a home without a dog is ju is just a, a house. I'll speak English here in a minute. A home without a dog is just a house. Now I really, really like that and I'm hoping I can get this stuff off of here and just reuse this part of the sign because I think that's really cute. But I don't care for the red glittered border, but it doesn't have to be for Valentine's Day. I think we could make that cute, make a different little frame. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get that off of there nicely and try to maybe square that off at the top. But I really like that saying, so I picked that up. And then I also picked up this heart. Um, this is just one of their decor pieces too, but this is really nice. The way this is done, it's just not a print. You can actually, it's actually grooves in there. This is really neat. Um, I know some of the other ones, you know, they're just kind of like a print kind of on there. But this is actually, you know, you can feel it all in the indents in there and everything. But I really love that. So I've got one of those. I figure you can use this any time of the year, too. doesn't have to be just something for Valentine's Day. So I got that. I really, really love that. It has like that whitewash, you know, that weathered look whitewash on it. Let me hold it up a little closer, maybe you can see better. But really, you can see the grains. I mean, and they're really, you know, they're kind of deep in there. They're, I was just shocked that it was made like that. Now, these I thought were really pretty. This one says, follow your heart. And it's this big envelope. And they're really, you know, a nice thick decor piece here. I don't know if these, you can take your little heart out of there. No, they're glued in there. But, you know, you could always put something else in there if you wanted to. I'm pretty sure. Let's see if you can actually stick something down. Oh, you can actually stick something down in there. I think that's only glued on the very top. Cool. So if you wanted to put something else in there, even like a photo or something sticking out of there would be really cute. So I got that one, and then this one says sealed with a kiss. And I just thought these were so pretty. And I like the size, you know? Sometimes they just have them little inky dinky, itsy bitsy, whatever you want to call them. Um, little signs, but this is really a nice big sign. And of course, it's called decor. <laughs> but I really like those. And then I did pick up a pack of these bags. I like to use these in my card making and stuff too, these pretty prints. Um, this one I'll probably just used, use for a bag. You get two of them. They come in a two-pack here. I was just seeing if it had the... No. But these are a nice little size for gift bags. But this one I mainly want for the paper. So when I get back to doing some more of my cards, I may have to use that bag because I love that. Now they have these too. I thought these were really cool. They're called Sequence Applique. Um, there's four in a pack. There's like a unicorn in here, a butterfly and a flower and the back of them is just like a pink color but look how pretty they are and i mean you could use these for all kinds of things not just for valentine i don't even know if i'd want to use these for valentine's day but i thought those were really cool 
some for a little girl's room. You could even make little, um, put them on little clips, you know, put in a little girl's hair, whatever. They would be really cute. And then they had this pack too. Um, and this one is just all different color unicorns. How cute are they? And then again, the back of it's just a fabric, so you could easily attach a little clip to it, make a little pin out of it, whatever you'd want to do with these. I thought these would be fun. So I got those, and there's, yeah, there's four, and they're all different colors. I don't know if you can see that one in the back there. It's a real pretty, pretty pink. There it goes. And then I just picked up one pack of these. This is just, they just call this confetti. But these are also great for card making and stuff. These little um, hearts. They're just little shiny plastic hearts. Um, I don't know who's using these for confetti. But, I mean, you could use these in like a shaker card or something. That's something I haven't done for Valentine's Day. I need to do a shaker card. All right. Maybe I'll use these in that. But you get a lot of stuff in here. So... Oh, and this, I was real happy to see that they came back with a bunch of the Valentine stickers. I was so disappointed. I did not see one pack of any kind of Christmas sticker this year. There was nothing. I don't know if you guys seen any at any of your Dollar Trees. Usually I get all kinds of different ones every year, but this year they didn't have any. But they do have the Valentine ones. So I picked up this. This is a 32-piece. It has all these pretty little stickers in here. These are really nice because these are more like a paper one. If you wanted to use these, you know, to make some cards and things, these would be great. I'm actually going to put them aside right with that pack of, of little um, bags there. Jeez, I can't think what I'm saying. This one you get 56 and these are just all different pretty little, little hearts. I hear my grandson's alarm going off. <laughs> Uh, he works nights. That's why it's such a crazy time of day. Um, I thought these were real pretty. Now, these are more of like a plasticky type thing here. These are real pretty. All kinds of pretty little... I'm just going to get a little closer with it showing. There we go. Let's see, when I'm seeing this, it's very glary, but you guys all told me last week when I was complaining about the glare that it really wasn't, so that's good. It must just be in my little monitor here that I'm looking at. These are really pretty too and these are all like holographic. Um, you get 34 of these little stickers. Very pretty for em on envelopes or anything like that. Um, then they had this one here with all the little kissy lips and kiss me and be my and there's 46 pieces in there too. So we have that one and then these are just all just the same. I don't think these are connected. Are these connected? I'm not sure. No, I don't think they are. They're just kind of overlapping here in the thing, but these just glittery hearts. They're real pretty. You get like, what, four different sizes in here? So they would be nice for cards and things too. I actually got two of those. I figured that would be something I used the most. And then they had one with the multicolor, different colors here that you could use. I love that pink on the top there. And then they have the red ones there. But, oh, I gotta get going here. I have so much stuff. You know, Dollar Tree's killing me. I walk in there and I say, ah! All right, they have these out for spring. These are called Craft Windmill Wind Chime Icons. But they're all these little, I have a little, so you can see it in there, a little wind chime. I'm gonna open one of these up because it's kind of hard to, I'm not going to open them all up. Hang on one second. Of course, it doesn't have a little flap. All right, I've got to tear that open. Just to kind of show you what's in these. And I have a couple different kinds here. Um, this one is a butterfly. Oops. It has this little windmill on here that will spin in the wind. And then it comes with three of these little wind chimes. There we go. Focus on that little wind chimes. They have a little hole in them that you can, you know, string on the bottom of this here. I'm not sure how exactly this is supposed to go, but there's directions. You get your little direction packet with it here, and then it comes with this piece here, and I'm sure this is where the chimes hang from. 
and then this goes down on the bottom and you can paint these whatever colors you want this would be a great project especially spring and summer with the kids what a fun thing that would be you could even probably even they could do this with even markers i'm going to try to paint up a few of these and see how it goes but um i thought these were really really cute so i got that one that's the butterfly i'll put this back in the bag later let me just whoops of course i dropped a piece of it Ugh, where'd you go there you are all right let me stick that down in there Ooh, give me the instructions and i lost a little wooden bead all right and now this one is this one is a ladybug you can't really see it in there too good but i don't want to open these all up i'm going to lose all my pieces but this one's a ladybug you can kind of get the idea um i think they all have the pink oh no this one other one i have here has a green little spinner on there but I, these are just really cute i think these will look adorable hanging outside and this one is a dragonfly and they're just really cute can you see them in there there he is little dragonfly and he has a little green spinner um the rest of them were pink but those are the only ones i saw i don't know if they have any other kinds but i just thought that was just really cool and another fun thing i found i thought would be great for the kids in the spring to paint or even me is these little um plaster flower pots it comes with a little brush i don't think that brush is going to be much good i didn't notice that it's really crammed in there but that's no big deal it comes with the paint to paint them and they're just these little, what a great little gift. Um, you know, like a great little teacher gift if they need something like that. And then they have this one, it looks like a little flower watering can. It's got a flower on there you can paint. And again, it has your paintbrush in there and your paints. So what a cute little thing. This would be a great little thing to even stick in an Easter basket, you know, for the kids to have something to do. And then I did pick up another one of these because I always have one of these hanging on the outside of my craft room door. I don't know why I just do. I just took down my Christmas one. So I got this one. Oh, I need to trim that fraying. But it's got a little pink handle there and it's little white and pink jingle bells. My little thing here is fraying. Let me cut that off. They did not seal the ends of these, so they're kind of just raw edges here. But you could take a lighter. I have one handy. Yes, I do. If you just take a later, that's why I keep one here for my ribbons, and you have like this crow's cane ribbon, and um, you just go back and forth across it a couple times real quick, and it seals the ends up. But you don't want to leave it on me, you got to do it really quick. Kind of just back and forth, and there you go. I didn't quite get that end. But yeah, you don't want to hold it there too long, or you'll burn it. And then you can feel it, you can feel there's a thick um, coating there now holding it together. So now that won't fray anymore. But yeah, I thought those were pretty, and I love these little, the color of these little bells. So that's, I'm going to put this on my table over here, because as soon as I'm done here, I'm going to hang that on outside of my craft room door. And then these little guys, <laughs> I didn't even want to think about St. Patrick's Day yet, but I figure if I didn't grab these guys now, they're going to be gone. And I love the size of these little gnomes. Look at these guys. I just, <laughs> I don't decorate a whole lot at all for St. Patty's Day, but these guys are definitely going on my shelves up here in my craft room i think they're the perfect size i picked up two of them because you know they gotta have a friend right so they can dance all right <laughs> but anyway i thought they're cute they'll look cute sitting up here on my shelves in here give me some inspiration that's the only thing i got though um they're getting a lot of stuff out for saint patrick's day a lot more than usual you know not just the same old same old all right, moving right along here. I did pick up two more of the um, nautical rope. These are 9.5 inches. This is the thinner one. They have the thicker one too, but I find that I use this thinner one a lot more, um, and I use most of mine. I, I, any time of the year, this stuff works, you know, in DIYs. So I grabbed two more of those while I was there. They pretty much always have those. And then I grabbed two of these candles. I got this red one. Usually I do some decoupaging on some of these, and I know I don't pronounce it right. Everybody keeps correcting me, but I have said it that way my entire life. It's never going to change, so I know it's not decoupage, <laughs> but that's how it comes out when I try to say it. But anyway, I picked up a red candle and a white candle, and I want to do something with these. We're not going to be doing what we usually do, but 
I have some fun things coming up. Probably after we get through uh, Valentine's and Easter and all that stuff, the summer months is usually kind of eh, and I, I got some more fun things I want to do this summer. Anyway, last thing I got here is I grabbed another one of these bags because I love these bags. Um, I know a lot of people are telling me that most of their states don't have bags anymore. You know, like when you go to the stores. I mean, ours still do in Pennsylvania, but if I go over to New Jersey, which is only like a 15 minute drive from where I live, um, they there are no bags, which I was shocked because I was not prepared. I didn't know. <laughs> but we still do get the regular plastic bags at our Dollar Tree here, um, which I'm thankful for because I use them in all my little garbage cans that I have all over my house. For ones in my bathroom and in the craft room and then the bird room so when they stop selling or stop giving out these um bags i'm gonna have to actually buy bags to put in my garbage to throw away which kind of defeats the whole purpose but anyway i rant <laughs> anyway i got another one of these bags i love these these are those really heavy duty plastic ones with the oh please tell me this is oh it's just they didn't cut it off Come on now, people, finish this stuff. There we go. Um, these hold up great. I haul all kinds of Christmas gifts in these and everything else. And they're just a really nice size to, you know, take to the grocery store or wherever you need to take it to now. All right, so that is what I got. I'm going to put this stuff away. I'll bring little P in here for a quick visit because I yacked on here for quite a long time. And I'll be right back. All right, here he comes. He was out there getting into trouble. Weren't you? I know. Your daddy went to work, and um, you saw an opportunity. He's just out there throwing pretty much everything off the counter in the kitchen. That's what he does. That's why we don't have much on the counter and in the kitchen. <laughs> He's such a little brat. I got you a piece of yucca wood. Would you like it? Hmm. You threw my soap on the floor, my Dawn bottle. He doesn't really chew on anything out there. He just, you know, everything just needs to be on the floor. What else did you have? My little plastic containers are on the floor. It doesn't take you long to get in trouble, does it? He was just hanging out by the sink. That's it? Are you mad because I told on you? Oh, you're a little stinker. Look, your one back feather's all screwy now. Fix your feather. Yeah, you look silly. Your feather's all a mess. Where are you going? What do you want? What do you see? Do you want this piece? You, whoops, sorry. You want this piece? Hmm. What happened? Were you trying to get up on my finger? What's the matter? What did you see? Well, I took a picture with my phone the other day. I'll have to try to edit it. Um, he was sitting on the curtain rod in, in the window in the kitchen, and a big hawk was sitting on the fence out where the dogs are out back. Huh, and I kind of got a, what do you see that's, oh, I see a whole bunch of birds out there flying around by our bird feeders out back. Whole, oh, look at them go. <laughs> you know, there's about, I don't know, probably about 20 or 30 of them just zooming in and out out there. Freaked him right out. Where are you going? You're running away. Come here. Where are you going? Nobody can see you now, young man. Hello. Oh, there they go again. Oh, this isn't going to go well in here today. Huh. No. Come on. Come here. Come here. i got to protect you. Come here. I save you. We'll come up here. They can't get you. Oh, look at them go. There they go again. Oh, it's nice and sunny out today. The birdies are having a good time. Yes, they are. Even you, huh? Oh, they're driving you nuts out there. I think they're all gone now, P. I think they flew away. Look at your feather. Look at that feather. He's got a feather sticking up out of whack back here. That's because you were out there getting too much trouble. You're going to have to fix it. You know how to do it. I don't know which way it's supposed to go. You are such a goofball. You ever see a bird that you could wear like a a ring? He loves to hang upside down. He hangs upside down all the time playing in his cage. What are you doing? 
He is nibbling. He's not hurting me at all. I mean, it looks kind of like he's really biting, but he's not. Huh, he did play in. Oh, he can bite hard, though, if he wants to. Huh. <laughs> all right, your nail is, like, digging into my finger. You sure you're done with all this stuff? This was a nice brand new one. I actually, cleaning up my craft room here this past week, found a whole bunch of his yucca wood that I I knew I had some put in here. He doesn't want to stay. Those birds out there are freaking him out. I'll put you upside down. Oh, should we play upside down? He loves to play upside down. Don't eat my ring. Hey, goofball, I'll spin you. Do you want to spin? Let's get that paper towel out of there. You want to spin? He likes to spin. He's so silly. You ever see a bird this crazy? Ever, ever, ever? You're crazy. Here, scratch your stuff here. Don't leave. Nobody can see you over there. Let's go in to see what's down. Anything back there? No, you can't get in that box. Come back. Come back. Don't go away. Here, you want to... Take a pen apart. Will that make your day? All right, go ahead. I should time you. <laughs> and done. That's it. No other purpose just to destroy my pen. Uh-oh, I hear the doggies out there barking. You hear the doggies? Yeah. Should we go get the doggies? We probably should, huh? There you go. Quick tongue action. He just slides that up with his tongue so fast. All right, P, come on. We got to go get these doggies in here. I'm going to get you out of here since you're not that... No, you cannot get in my pen back. That was it. That was enough fun with the pen. All right. Tell everybody we will see you all next time. Tell them, hey, up here, say have a great day, everyone.